our hero, Nick Chase, is still trying to escape wherever he is. Looks like he's at a gas station, and this guy is gonna free him. You just saw that guy on the title screen. He is Big D. Who is Big D? I'm not sure, but these bolts are too rusty to come off. There's a bucket. That will help me save Mr. Chase. This chain is really, really tough. Ha. Huh. Fortunately, I've got some anti-corrosion liquid. That should take care of this rust. I can't unscrew these bolts with my bare hands. Are you crazy? Okay, this is a gas canister. I'm probably gonna need some gas. And we've got some acid. Very nice. Looks like there's a bunch of stuff I can pick up here at this empty, rundown gas station. Come on, there's something here. Here! This is a faucet. I'm gonna get some water in there, but it has a hole. What could plug the hole? I bet this cloth will work. Now I have a bucket of water for some reason. I need to pull this door off. Let me see. If I tie a rope between the door and the truck... Hmm. I need to place a new wheel here. Yeah, so this is exciting. I still have no idea who Big D is, but, you know, it's this chain is really, really tough. I'm gonna use some acid. Hopefully we'll have a scene explaining who Big D is. Everything's ready with this wheel. Okay, but the car's hood... I need to add some water. We'll hear some water. Everything's ready under the hood. Everything's ready with the wheel. Gas? There's no gas. How am I going to get gas from a broken down gas station? Let's use a hint. Well, yes, I have a gas canister, but that's an empty gas canister. Okay, it looks like I can use the gas canister on the pump. Here we go. Wow, that was kind of confusing. But, I think we've saved it. Now we can drive away. Let's start the engine. Oh man. This is a puzzle. What you need to do is connect the red and blue clamps. So basically you want to do something like this. Hey, those things connect to each other. And can I rotate pieces? I can't, so that makes this easier. So basically what you do is you, you find the pieces which make the connections you need. Hmm, that doesn't seem to work well. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so those are all the blue ones in place. It's gotta be the red connection. Red connection. Looks like all these pieces are slightly larger than they need to be. piece is not need oh wait 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 here we go that's that's the final blue piece got it i need to find a rope and a hook well i already found the rope right the rope is attached okay so where's the hook here's the hook Free, Mr. Chase, but you owe me. Name's Big D. I need you to protect the diamond. It's sacred to my people. I followed you here from the bar, saw you get banged up and injected with something. What? No wonder I feel strange. I guess I owe you one, Big D. 
Just understand, I work alone. That's risky. Big D drove me straight to Dr. Morrison's. If anybody can save me from this poison, it's him. Hey, Doc, I think I've been poisoned. I need some help. Hang on, Nick! Oh, no! Oh, that's not good. Okay, so Dr. Morrison, he was a character in the previous game. Um, apparently he... He is just in trouble now. Um, what am I doing here? Am I using the fire extinguisher? Okay. Fire extinguisher is empty now. Okay, let's just use sand then. Hmm. Okay, that works. Is this puzzle just click in a really precise area? I guess. Cool. What happened this time, Nick? I've been poisoned, shot with a strange injection. Tell me how serious it is, Doc. Just don't ask me how it happened. I'll do the blood analysis now. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Ew, ew. Am I really gonna take some of his blood? Oh, no. Yuck. Okay, so I need to find a syringe. And I'm going to put it in the analyzer. Once I'm done. Aha! Here we go, a syringe. Yuck. Okay, um... Um, test tube over here. Okay, so this is a hidden objects challenge, and guess what? Those hidden objects challenge in the previous video just killed me, so I looked online and there are pictures of how to solve these hidden objects challenges. I should note the pictures are only for those those particular hidden objects challenges where you need to find like 12 of something. Uh, for the other hidden objects challenges, it's not super useful. Okay, so the blood strands are entangled in toxins! It's this puzzle again, isn't it? Okay, so it's this puzzle where you want to move all the things around so nothing overlaps. The easiest way to solve a puzzle like this is to find the piece which has the most connections and find another piece with a lot of connections. So you figure out where, where the most dangerous pieces are, the pieces with the most connections, and you try to separate them. Snake? Oh my. So it's what? Four, two, four, two, five? I'm confused. What is my task? Prepare the antidote. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it's four. Okay, snake was four. Spider is two. Plant is five. Okay, and antidote. Whatever it is you're after, Nick, I hope it's worth the trouble. Dinner's at seven o'clock, and Nick, make sure you're dressed for the occasion. So I don't know what we're doing now. Apparently we're going back to the girl from the previous game? Jane was her name or something? Her name was something like Jane. I believe Mary Jane, Mary Ellen. We helped her out. She was in a tough situation with some bad guys and so she was grateful for the assistance. Looks like this is just one of those puzzles where, um, 
as we've seen before, when you when you move a piece into the right spot, it stays there permanently. Okay, so we've got the left. So uh, I I've, I've got all the borders figured out. This must be her face. This must be Nick's face. Looks like it's the two of them at some sort of bar. At Joe's bar. Makes sense. Nick always likes hanging out there. seem to get any of them in the correct spot. Oh, those two things. Okay, so, okay, that, that's why I made a mistake. Excellent, Chase. You look simply dashing. And she was wearing a fancy diamond. Hmm. Nick! I think I lost consciousness. You did. The results of the analysis are bad news. Without a clean poison sample, I can't make an antidote. I can only slow down the toxin's effects with the serum. Bought you some time, Chase. We've bought you some time. But time is something you don't have because you've actually got a telephone. It's Mr. X warning me to quit wasting time. If I want the antidote, I need to get the diamond and fast. So this is the storyline. Apparently somebody kidnapped Nick in order to get him to steal the diamond. That's not very nice. Okay, and this is a jigsaw puzzle. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Oh wait, I have. I just solved one with Nick and the random woman and that was totally unexplained. The game just threw it at you and said, hey, solve this puzzle. Why did I solve that puzzle? I... okay. Okay, no complaining. Happy Michael, happy, not complaining at all, liking this game. All of its puzzles, and I'm sure the story makes sense. So yeah, it looks like the same sort of thing with the uh, previous jigsaw puzzle. What you do is you put all the pieces together and work on the outlines. So I've got a blank page. And I need to find items. So, um, yeah. Wrinkles just won't do. Nick, Nick, you're like dying, buddy. Are, are you sure you want to spend your time making sure you look nice? If you don't hurry, you're gonna die. I would not worry about having a, um, you know, you know, un unironed shirt. So I'm picking up more things. Let's clean his jacket. I don't know what else he's looking for. A belt, yes. And is this some sort of gun? Nothing to lace up his shoes. Okay, those are his shoes. I decided I'd bring my gun just in case. But more importantly, I was able to do a hidden objects challenge. Yeah. Okay, hidden objects challenge. Let's see if we can get through this. Like I said, there's no solution for these hidden objects challenges on the internet. Just solutions for uh, the hidden objects challenges where you find the same item 10 or 15 times. And as you can see, this is slightly more difficult than the previous hidden objects challenges, because now I'm finding 13 items instead of just 10. So I need to find razors and a tie and a sun? Ugh. I keep trying. I don't always, I don't always succeed. Okay, let's look for something else then. Scissors! Oh, come on! I clicked on those scissors! These things are scissors, right? There's a sun. Scissors and a sun. Okay, binder clip. Binder clip is one of those black things. Um, usually, 
There's the binder clip, got it. There's the tie. And let's use a hand for the razor. Okay, that's a ra it's an old-fashioned razor. Of course, I'm playing a noir game. Of course it's an old-fashioned razor. And there's the other one. Packing heat. I was ready for anything. Especially hidden objects challenges. Mr. X's gift was nothing more than a page from an old manuscript. Blink one at that. Only Joe the Scribbler could help figure this out. But first, I had more important work to do. Now is the perfect time to visit the museum and say hi to the diamond. All this trouble for a piece of glass. Something told me my trouble was just beginning. And it was right. Yeah, Mr. X, Mr. X, if you're trying to help Nick... I mean, you want Nick Chase to succeed and steal the diamond, right? Why are you making things perfect, pur purposely difficult for him? By giving him just a super mysterious note. Wouldn't, wouldn't you give him all the information he needs? A switch, but to what? I'm good at finding things. Um, yeah. Magazine's missing its cover. Paper ship is sunk to the bottom of the fountain. Excuse a hint. For Butler, safe code art equals life's mirror date. Okay. Let's use another hint. Okay, so we found everything. We have. What, what is this? I haven't found the rest of the magazine paper. Hmm. Am I gonna have to use another hint here? Oh. Okay. There we go. I don't know why that puzzle seemed... Uh, a puzzle... yeah... I mean, good puzzle, it looks like I solved it backwards, though, so... Maybe, maybe I'm just not good with puzzles. But this is, this is the date mirror, right? So 19... no, 1391 would be the mirror date, right? 1391? And that's the key, the key to the safe, right? Or the key to the door? This is dark. Okay, so we are finding things here. We need to find an oil can, a candle, a... Uh, Light back on? I cannot. Okay, so hit an objects challenge in the dark, everyone. Um, star. I need a hoe, a tape measure, and a, a slingshot. Clicking randomly is just not going to work. And I only have one hint, so that means I am basically going to die here. I am Nick Chase, dead detective. Well, let's just look for a car, or a tape. Ugh, found some tape. So let's look for a car, a slingshot, and a nail. Those are relatively easy items to find. There's a tape measure. And I need a red lamp as well. So a car, a red lamp. There's the car. Slingshot, nail, and pliers. Those are pliers. Great. So, down to four items. Fantastic. So, red lamp, nail, hoe, and a slingshot. I swear, uh, a hoe would be one of these items, right? No, it was 
one of those things over there. Fine. Whatever. Bam. So, I have now got an access card with the access card in my hand. The diamond is mine for the taking, or so I thought. Big D showed up. Big D, what you doing here? The museum director wanted me to come inside to visit the shrine of my people. Yeah, well, the passage is blocked by boxes and there's no way to get to the main hall. That's too bad. I wanted to look at that diamond. Maybe I can help. I saw a control panel. I can use it to make a path. So Big D and Nick Chase are going to help steal the diamond together. I need to move the boxes to make a path for Mr. Chase. A slider puzzle, okay. Oh, and I can move Mr. Chase around. Well, that's nice. How do I move him around? Oh, he can only go forward. He, he can't go backwards, okay. Say what you want about Mr. Chase. He's not very good at this whole detective business, is he? Hey, look. Sometimes you... I can't move this piece down? Okay, that piece can't go down because Mr. Chase's flashlight is in the way. Hey, buddy. Seriously? really want Nick out of the way, so... I move this here. That piece up. Hmm... Very mysterious, and I bet there is no reset button or anything at all like that. So this is looking pretty good so far. How how am I going to get get out of this situation? Hmm. Yeah, no, that that was me moving things a bit prematurely. Now I can't get Nick Chase to move. Hmm. I can't move that piece up. I need both of these pieces like that in order to get... Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to skip the puzzle, but I don't want to skip the puzzle because that will lower my final my final score. And so, and so that's not good. It. I thought that was it, but hmm. there we go. Wow. No, keep going, Nick. Don't just stop there, Nick. <laughs> Don't just stop there, Nick. Very tricky. Moving these things all the way here. So I can move Nick. Right one, I presume. 
move that down. Maybe move him backwards again. That one was so much easier than the second one. Okay! Whew. So do we have the diamond now? Did we steal the diamond from Mr. X? Getting into the hall wasn't so difficult. Except it was, it took me like five minutes. Then I heard footsteps. So there's a very fancy alarm, very fancy alarm system in place. And when I worked for the police, I heard about a professional safe cracker, Bernard. Now if I can only remember. I could remember. Um, let's see. Okay. So yeah, wasn't there like the chief's desk or something in the police? Police door. Door over here on the left. This looks like a rug here. Wait, that's the police door. Yes, okay. Whew. Okay, this, this is kind of killing me here. Ah, well, that, that, that helps out there a bit. Having a, a double solution there. Fans usually go on ceilings. All right. There we go. Right hand side's looking good. Yep, right hand side's looking really good. Okay. I remember this. This was the Gruff Police Station. Everybody talked like this. So Bernard specialized in burglary and kidnapping. If anybody could help me crack the security system. It's my good buddy Bernard, who is not actually my buddy, but whatever. He's in Darkwood Road. I'm going to use a map. I have to find Darkwood Road. And this is a very clever puzzle. You have to go all over the map to find it. Darkwood... Darkwood? Okay! Haha. <laughs> See you soon, Bernie. I decided to visit Joe the Scribbler on my way to Bernard. Just kill two birds with one stone. Maybe he can figure out what's up with that blank page. Joe the Scribbler is my only hope for decoding the old manuscript page. But this hope was dashed when I opened the door to his apartment. Once inside, my fears were confirmed. The apartment was a mess. We had signs of a struggle. I need to inspect the room for clues. Oh ho ho, so this is one of those hidden objects challenges that I have my solution to. And you know what I haven't found recently? Any hints whatsoever. Poor Joe. Every, every, all these bad things are happening to Joe. He's a nice guy, kinda. You know, for a lawbreaker. Address Sagebrush. Okay, so Joe is at Sagebrush. We're gonna have to save Joe the Scribbler. And Sagebrush is over on the right hand side of this map maze. I'm coming for you, old friend. <laughs> 